Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in our library orientation series. My name is Bryce Peterson. I'm one of the reference librarians here at Kistler Memorial Library. Um, I may or may not be the embedded librarian in your seminar or your personal librarian. Uh, if so, I look forward to working with you. If not, you will either be working with uh, librarians Elena Sisti or Joe Tresnan. And you'll be hearing from them and uh, I'll show you a little bit about how the um, Canvas portion of our Embedded Librarian program works, uh, so you know where to go to ask us questions and discuss um, issues you might have related to library research within your Canvas course shell. But for now, for this first introduction video, uh, I wanted to go over just some of the basics of what the library offers, where you can find those links, and uh, essentially how to navigate our website and get started. So. For any library research or any library questions you might have, it's always good to start just by going to our webpage on the Rosemont College website. So that's rosemont.edu slash library. There are also links here under academics to the library uh, where you can get to our page that way. So up at the top right now, you see we have a couple of notices just related to uh, the coronavirus pandemic that has affected our hours. We also have our hours always listed on this left sidebar. Um, this is updated every day based on a calendar. So, um, you know, of course, things are changing uh, day to day based on uh, what makes sense in terms of our schedule being open and what the college's plans are. So if you're ever unsure about what the library's hours are, uh, always come to our page and check this, um, you know, check here for any special notices and then check the sidebar for our current hours for that day. Uh, and that'll give you the most up-to-date information about the library's hours. Um, and you'll see if we have any kind of special accommodations being made for, for the pandemic and for access during the pandemic. Um, but for now, this is the basic library website. You see we have links on the left to uh, different sections of resources. Um, but what I wanna draw your attention to is on this homepage, if you scroll down, First, you see a picture and then this um, tabbed search bar here. Uh, and this is a really easy way to access most of the research materials that you'll be needing for your classes. And basically, we'll be going through each of these in subsequent videos in our orientation series. Um, but for now, I want to point out where this is so you know essentially where to go to get to different resources. So, the first tab will automatically be the catalog, which lets you search for books, ebooks, media, and more in the library catalog. This is primarily for things that are located physically in the library building. Um, the next tab will link you to the Credo Reference database, which I will show you in our next video. Um, it's essentially like a Wikipedia style database um, encyclopedias online that you can search for background information on your topics and to help you develop a research topic. This next tab lets you search our electronic journal locator. Um, so a bit of a distinction here, you wouldn't search this necessarily for the title of an article, um, but the title of a journal. Uh, and we can get into that distinction a little bit more when we talk about searching for periodicals in our periodical databases. Um, but this is a good way to see, say, whether or not the library has access to a certain magazine or academic journal. So you could type the title of that academic journal or magazine in here and see if one of our databases provides access to that. <clears throat> and then finally, we have a tab that lets you search our research guides. And I'll show you a bit more of these research guides today, but they are a good introduction to various subjects and topics and courses uh, and these research guides are places where librarians have gathered um, resources for you to get started on research in all different kinds of areas. So we give you search tips, uh, recommendations of how to go about making citations, what books to look for, what databases to search, depending on what subject area you're looking at. And there's also a link here to browse an entire list of our research guides if you don't know what you're searching for just yet. So there's that there. Uh, if we scroll back up, you'll see on the left, again, there are these links to the different resources. Now, um, I'm making this video from on campus, so this is less of an issue for me because most of our online resources that we subscribe to, uh, access is provided to them based on our subscription, our IP address. So if you're on campus and you go to one of our online databases, 
you'll get logged in automatically because it knows you're accessing it from Rosemont College. But if you're at home, if you're off campus, if you're traveling and you try to access one of our online databases, you'll need to log in with your Rosemont email address and password. And it's the same thing you would log in with to get your Rosemont email. Um, so the important thing about knowing where these links are on the library website page is that you always want to click the links that we provide because they will tell the databases that you're accessing from Rosemont, whether or not you have to log in. So especially for our electronic databases, this is important. And I'll click here and show you that list. So these are the things that we pay for and subscribe to. Now, if you get used to using one of these, say you use the Credo Reference Database a lot, the one that I said is sort of like Wikipedia, you might be tempted to just Google Credo Reference and pull it up and try to access it that way. But that won't get you into the database through the right path. You want to use the links that we have here because again, these links are formatted in such a way that it tells the database that you're using our subscription that we pay for. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in. So, like I said, these are the electronic databases that we subscribe to. You want to use these links to access it whenever. What's helpful on this page is that it's broken down either by subject. So if you know what subject you're studying, you can browse all the databases for that particular area. So I clicked on education, or you could click on English and communication, history, so on. Or you have the option of browsing the entire list alphabetically. This lets you see just all the databases that we have in one place. And you can go through them one by one this way. Read a little description about what they cover, um, what they might be good for, any particular notes about how to access. Uh, and this is a good way to get all that information. So there's the electronic databases. Again, subscription ones that we pay for. These are where you're probably going to do the bulk of your research. We also have research websites. These are websites that are out on the open web, so we can't always vouch for all of the information provided here because they can change and be edited and uh, altered at any time by the owners of these websites. Um, but these are generally websites that we have uh, vetted for accuracy and for utility. So these are probably the best websites you'll be able to find out on the open internet for research. So there are things like the Digital Public Library of America, uh, Purdue Online Writing Lab, which gives you tips for writing your papers and creating citations, uh, things like that. Project Gutenberg, which gives you access to ebooks online. We'll talk a little bit more about that in another video. Uh, so you want to pay attention maybe to some of these research websites to help supplement your research. Uh, again, here's a link to that electronic journal locator that will open in a new page. This is the same as that search bar I showed you on the home page that lets you search for magazines and journals we have access to. Uh, this is another way to browse that. And then finally, we have a link to the guides and tutorials. These are those research guides uh, and some video tutorials that we have provided access to. Different videos will load here. It's just taking a minute to set up. But you'll see we give tutorials on um, different databases, EBSCOhost, PsycInfo, Credo Reference, Project Muse, uh, basic tutorials on the library catalog. Um, some of these are being updated as we speak, uh, including in this video. And then at the top, there is the list again of our research guides and tutorials. These are the things that librarians have put together specifically for the Rosemont community to give you access to um, research for your classes. You see in the list here, which is just alphabetical, we have um, research guides for specific classes, you know, business, criminal justice, English, uh, and also general research guides on different topics like environmental studies or history or healthcare. Uh, what I'll do right now is click on the first year connection seminar guide from last year, Reading the World. Uh, this is the same book that you all are reading for your seminar this year. Uh, and we're working on updating this for the current year, but I thought I would show you last year so you get a sense of what these research guides look like. So if you were to click that, it brings you to this page. Again, here's that uh, toolbar search to search the library catalog. Um, we break things down on the left, search tips, how to cite your sources, how to access materials that might be held by other libraries, getting help in the library, and this is a link to frequently asked questions about library research. On the left, you'll also see information about how to contact us, either through email, 
through an online form, ask a librarian, or to call us at the reference desk. Again, our regular hours are listed, and then today's hours, if they're special, will be down here. Links to the Rosemont College Archives, which is housed here in Kistler Library. And then on the main page, you'll see, and this is pretty much formatted the same for every um, research guide we have, you'll see um, lists of sources broken down by type, books, databases, reference sources. These are all things recommended for each course. And then this box below recommends, again, different books and resources depending on the topic area you're working with or, or researching within the Reading the World book. So it's a helpful way to kind of get access to things that we have in the library and elsewhere uh, that will be related to your seminar and the book reading you did. So that's basically how the research guides look, and more or less other guides will look the same. Back to our website quickly just to wrap things up. Um, you're always welcome to contact us, contact us for any information you might need or help you might need. Uh, if you click that link, it brings you to a list of our contact information. Let's give it a second to load. This is the library staff page, so you can see everyone who works here. Like I said, Joe, Elena, and I will be uh, working with the First Year Connection seminars as your personal librarians as an, and as embedded librarians. But you can also always email us individually or call us if you have questions. Uh, and there's also this form here called Ask a Librarian. That is just another way of getting in touch with us uh, online. So you can fill out a form here and uh, we can answer your questions that way. Uh, I would really encourage you to use this form or email us, especially to set up appointments now for research help. Um, again, because of the pandemic, we'll be limiting the number of students who can be in the library. So it's always good to plan ahead for any research help you might need that's more in depth. Uh, and many things we can help you out with just over email. So filling out this form or emailing us is a very quick way to get some help. And uh, we're always standing by and ready to help you. So this has been just a general introduction to the library page, a sort of overview of um, where things are located and how to access them. And for the remainder videos uh, of this series, we'll be looking first at reference resources. Uh, again, that credo reference, how to get started with doing background research and developing a topic for research. Then we'll take a look at books in the library catalog and how to access eBooks that we subscribe to. And finally, we'll spend some time in those electronic databases uh, looking for periodicals and articles that will be the most in-depth research that you need for research papers uh, while working here at Rosemont. Uh, so again, I hope that gives you a good sense of how things work with the library's website. Uh, always use this page to find links to uh, good resources that we subscribe to and to other ones that we've vetted. And if you have any questions, use this form here to reach out to us. Thank you.